Okay, so this is a paper two question on functions from the January 2016 paper. It's a part of question nine. Um, actually, this was one of the ones that I could find with eight marks altogether because a lot of the functions questions, they're probably around five, six, or between five to like nine marks. But remember though that it's spread across different questions. So even though all of them are not in one, you're going to see it in different parts of the paper. But this one was focused purely on functions. So anyways, um, we're supposed to find given the functions f of x and g of x as f of x is 3, 3 over 2x plus 1 and g of x is x squared we want to evaluate g of negative a half fg of negative a half and f inverse of x so let's get to it let's start with number one so we want to find g of negative a half now remember that this means we are putting negative a half into g so wherever we see our input in g which would be um oh let me get the highlighter instead i should have which would be here that means i'm going to put negative a half right there so g of negative a half oh let me change the color back to blue sorry about that so g of negative a half is going to be negative a half all squared and negative a half all squared is going to be equal to negative a half times negative a half negative one times negative one is one two times two is four so that means g of negative a half is equal to a quarter very important to remember that we square all of this negative a half is all of our input so that means we're going to square all of negative a half okay good now let's go down to question or the second part of i where we're supposed to find fg of negative a half so finding fg of negative a half now, if you notice, or as you'd realize, this is a composite function. And that means we are putting one function into the other. So here we are going to be putting g of negative a half into f. Putting g of negative a half into f. Let me just go back up. So we know that f is 3 over 2x plus 1. Now, whereas with other composite functions, if we had an x here, that means we would have to put the function into the other in terms of x but no we already know what g of negative a half is right because remember we just figured out that g of negative a half is a quarter so i can replace my g of negative a half right and what it's really saying is that i'm just putting a quarter into f because g of negative a half is a quarter so now all i need to do is put a quarter into f right so that means i'm going to put my quarter here where i see x so now that means i'm going to rewrite this let me come down instead of 3 over 2x plus 1 this is going to be 3 over 2 times a quarter plus 1 2 times a quarter so that's going to be 3 over we know that 2 times a quarter, let me write it here, 2 times 1 over 4, 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2, so that would be a half. So that's going to be a half plus 1. A half plus 1 is the same thing as 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. And there are a lot of ways that we could proceed from here. One way we can think about is that this is 3 over 2, right? And what this is basically saying is that 3 is being divided by 3 over 2. If we're dividing it, that means we're going to keep the first and second fraction. So that's 3 times 2 over 3. And 3 can go into 3 once each time. So that's going to just leave us with 2. So that means fg of negative a half is 2. All right. So we found g of negative a half. We found fg of negative a half. And that means we can move on to our second part which says that we want to find f inverse x we're looking for f inverse x 
So do you remember how to find the inverse function? Well, basically, we can use the concept of transposition, right? So first, we let y be equal to f of x. So that means y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 1. And now we are going to solve for x. So I should rather say solving because it's going to be something that we're doing. So solving for x, solving for x means that I'm going to come down here and I'm going to start. So I had y equals 3 over 2x plus 1. Um, I need to get this out of my denominator so that I can make things easier for myself. So if I do the opposite operation over here now i'm going to be because i was dividing by 2x plus 1 now i'm going to be multiplying on the left hand side by 2x plus 1 so that's 2x plus 1 times y is going to be equal to 3. let me expand my bracket that's going to be 2x times y 2xy 1 times y that's plus y so that's 3. so that means 2xy is going to be equal to 3 minus y So 2xy is equal to 3 minus y. I want x by itself, so that means I can divide both sides by 2y. x is going to be equal to 3 minus y divided by 2y. Now that I've solved for x, I can change back my x to f inverse of x, because that's what x represents, and I can change y to x to represent my new input. So f inverse of x is equal to 3 minus x over 2x.